Hi guys and welcome to this video. One really, really important part I feel of eating disorder recovery is clearing out the clothes that you wore when you were an unhealthy weight. And that's something that I have been putting off for a long time. And you know what? There is no good reason for hanging on to those clothes. The only reason to keep them is in case I'm ever that size again. And it's not, it's not a good reason. And if you're doing the same, then I would urge you to, to really think about that because I've come this far in recovery. I'm still not fully recovered. I've got a long way to go, but I'm much better than I was. And I don't want to go back to that version of me. I'm gonna keep all the clothing in my current size and some of the clothing in the size below, which I know will still fit me now because I don't know what it's like for guys, but for women, you go into one shop and you're a size 14, you go into another shop and you're a size 10. It's just, and even in the same shop, I know they knew it once, I tried on a pair of jeans in a size eight that was way too big and a pair in a size 12 and they wouldn't even go over my thighs. So it does vary a lot. So I'm not gonna be trying anything on because that will do me absolutely no good. I know by looking at something really, whether or not it's gonna fit. Now, previously when I've done clear outs, I've given everything to charity and the charity shop's done really well out of me because there have been brand new dresses with labels attached that I bought for 50 quid, never wore and then gave away. I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm actually going to pop them on Vinted because I've got a friend who's had quite a bit of success selling things on Vinted and I may as well give it a go. So I'm not gonna clear out everything all at once. The way I have my clothes organized, it's, it's ridiculous really, but I use boxes to store a lot of things. So I think I'm gonna go through my box of pinafore dresses today and the ones that don't fit will be going on vintage and that will leave a bit of space, which I must not fill with new clothes because I have too many clothes as it is. So I'm gonna get that done. And the reason that I'm filming it is because I've talked in the past on my podcast and on this channel about it being something that needs to be done. And then I still haven't gone and done it. So I guess in a way it's kind of a, proof that I'm I'm doing it and the way I'm going to do it is I'm not even going to think about it I'm not going to hold on to something thinking do I really want to to give this away I'm not going to give the eating disorder voice a chance to get into my brain and convince me that I should hold on to things I'm I'm just going to do it so if you are in that same position that I've been stuck in probably for at least a year of having clothes that are too small but not wanting to part with them because there is a part of you that hopes you might fit into them again. Really think hard about that and whether or not it's worth just getting rid of those clothes. If you do, if you do get that thin again, then you can always get new ones. But do you really want to go back to that? Right. Enough talking, to the bedroom. So I have actually only got four dresses here, three denim and one in sort of suede type fabric. And it may not seem like much, but 
it's a start and for me certainly recovery has been about small steps so I've done the dresses and I'll put them on vintage maybe in a couple of days time I'll do another type of dress or my jeans or my skirts something like that but I think if I tried to do my entire wardrobe at once it would be completely overwhelming and I would probably end up just giving up getting hardly anywhere with it if anywhere at all and it would just be too much so for me it's about breaking it down into smaller parts and I have to be honest apart from this denim dress oh actually and this one I love that corset style on this denim dress and um, I really like this one as well I'm sad to see them go because I like the style of them but I'm not sad to see them go because I don't fit them anymore because you know there's no point so yeah it it hasn't been emotional and it hasn't been difficult but I'm only at the very beginning of it and it, it may become more difficult. But I guess the point of this is just to, you know, show you the realities of recovering from an eating disorder and things that I think a lot of people don't even think about. So many people think about the food, regaining a healthy body, getting back into a normal life, things like that. They don't think so much about having to get rid of things that are from that period of illness, like clothes that don't fit anymore. Perhaps there are other things like exercise equipment or scales, stuff like that. And yeah, it, it's incredible how much an eating disorder pervades your life. And if you're anything like me, you don't even realise until you are recovering just how much it affected you. But anyway, I have rambled enough, so I need my iPad, which I'm currently filming on, so that I can pop these on Vinted. Don't really expect them to sell, and if they don't, they will be going to a charity shop. They will not be going back into my closet. Here I am, heading home with my favourite drink from Costa. I haven't had one of these in quite a long time and I really fancied one today because as you can see it's nice and sunny and part of me was telling myself I shouldn't be having it because I don't need it and I still get thoughts like that but I've got to fight them or I'm never going to get to the point I want to get which is fully recovered. I don't want quasi recovery and that might be okay for some. It's not okay for me. So they also had 10% off the drinks. So that was another reason to get it. Um, it's hard still. I may look like I'm recovered, but as anyone with an eating disorder knows, you cannot tell what's going on inside someone's head from the outside. And I think it's a lot harder when you look, for want of a better word, better, because a lot of people don't realise that you can still be struggling and you may not be getting the support that you need. And it's really, really difficult. So I just wanted to, to say that, but I'm going to get a move on. My arm is starting to ache and I want to enjoy my drink. So it's a couple of days later now and I need to get this video finished so that I can edit it and put it out. So I did put a Q&A box on my Instagram stories just to ask whether anyone had any questions they would like to ask me around the subject of coping with weight gain and coping with a changing body during the recovery process. And I'm actually really pleased that nobody did. I see that as being quite a positive thing because to me that means that either it's not something people are really struggling with, it's not at the forefront of anyone's mind, or 
it's something that they may be struggling with, but they're managing to cope with by themselves. It's not something they feel I could help with in any way. I'll be honest, it's something I personally find really, really hard, but it's not gonna be that way for everyone. There will be things I struggle with that other people don't and vice versa. The only response I did get was one to do with thin privilege and the fact that people may say that's something I have. Now, it's not really relevant to the topic of this video, but it is an important subject. I'm not recovered, so my body is not uh, yet where it would like to be. However, do I think I have thin privilege? Looking at my parents and my brother, genetically, I'm probably going to recover into a body most people would regard as being slim. But I know it's not that way for everyone. I think the subjects I've addressed in this video are relevant to anyone, no matter what size of body you're going to end up in. If you've had a restrictive eating disorder and you've been underweight and you are going through weight restoration, you're going to go through all these struggles, or most of them anyway. I'm certainly not sitting here saying I'm recovered. Life is so much better without an eating disorder. Go for recovery, you won't regret it. One, I'm not fully recovered and I'm never gonna pretend otherwise. I'm hoping there'll be a point when I can say that I am, but I'm not there yet, guys. Yes, some things are better, but there are a lot of things that are not. And there is still that tremendous pull to try to lose weight again. I think it's easy when you are younger and you do have a naturally slim body and you have a lot of followers who are looking to you for inspiration to say, yeah, recovery is great. I love my body now and I love my life. I am very niche because there doesn't seem to be a lot of interest in older adults going through recovery. And this is a topic that I'm kind of thinking I should maybe address on my podcast. But again, it's so niche, not many people ever listen to my podcast. So I'm not sure whether or not it's even worth me going there with that. But yeah, I guess I just want to make it clear that I'm not recovered, I'm still struggling and <sighs> nothing is ever going to be wonderful because this is life, this is being a human. There's always going to be good and there's always going to be bad and it's just about getting on with it and dealing with it as best you can. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now because the sun is shining and I want to make the most of it because... It's not going to last, but thank you for watching. As ever, feel free to drop me a comment in the box below and I hope that you'll come back for the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.